Good morning, Dominic Nation, and welcome to the vlog. Got up this morning. I was supposed to get up at 7, but I slept until 7.35. And I just needed that extra half hour of sleep because of the bike rides and snow shoveling. You know what I'm saying? So the first thing I did before anything is I uh, put together the vlog. It was a short vlog. Put together real quick and finished it up and uploaded it by 8.30. And uh, then I had breakfast after I talked to the animals a little bit and gave Louie his insulin shot. Uh, yesterday, which is very weird and coincidental, but let's move out of that sun. There we go. Uh, I ran out of coffee and the filters on the exact same day, which is really, really, really bizarre. So I phoned Carol because uh, she's phoned, well, she phoned me from the. Um, grocery store and she said oh I'm not do you need anything else and I said oh coffee great and uh, didn't say filters but luckily I have a French press uh, this is a gift that Carol gave me last Christmas I really like using the French press once in a while and it comes in handy when you run out of filters and you're stuck so I had the water boil in the kettle and I've let it cool down a little bit because you don't want it to be boiling hot when you make coffee because it will burn your coffee. Got my Tim Hortons right here. So this is the plunger and uh, like I said it was inside. Pulled it out, put in two scoops of coffee. It's rocking back and forth. One, two, always put your lid back on your coffee man. You want stale coffee. And then you unplug your kettle, and then you pour your hot water in. Guess I could have made more. And then you put your plunger back on, and it just sits there. It doesn't have to be any specific order. And then you let it sit. Some people actually will stir it. I've watched a few videos on how other people use the French press. Uh, they'll pour in half their water and then they'll stir it around just to make sure all the bits and pieces are getting utilized. And then uh, another thing people like to do is they heat their their milk so it doesn't cool their coffee down. Uh, but again, one of the secrets is not to pour your boiling water into there. So boil your water, wait a couple minutes after that until it cools down a little bit, uh, and then you pour it in. Then you wait a couple minutes here and then you plunge out your uh, coffee beans uh, sediment and then you pour your coffee and it's done so I like like I've been telling you guys I'm like excited that I've lost weight so I'm gonna be using even less sugar today so that's about what I normally put in yeah that's even a little bit less than what I normally put in just a little treat and I like to do two coffees, so two, almost two spoons, two spoon, probably, probably one and a half teaspoons of sugar I put in my coffee every day. So let's plunge. That's probably good. So you just go real slow. So that little cage traps most of the coffee grounds. Oh, it doesn't look very dark. I think I just put too much water in for two. Yeah. Then we can pour it in. Probably should have left it longer. Oh well. And my the thing that I hate the most about this is it's a pain in the ass to clean now because it's just all coffee grounds. We don't have a garburator, so we try to put it into the uh, the little composter there. But you have to like use a rubber spatula and get it all out and then give it a rinse and it's a pain in the ass and this time of the year as you guys know this is another no-no i shouldn't be doing right now but uh i really like my eggnog again this is uh used to be becker's then max bought them out uh, or turned from becker's into max can't remember so max premium eggnog one liter keep refrigerated shake well so every morning as you give it a shake it's good enough. I guess it separates. I've never known it to separate. You just pour a little glob in. Oh man. Oh, look at that reaction. And put that back. Smash the fridge. And away you go. That's how I start my morning when I don't have any coffee. See, there's little, little bits of coffee beans 
coffee grounds in there. Again, my only issues with uh, French presses. And let's give it a shot. It'll do. I should have definitely let it uh, sit much longer because it's a little on the weak side, even though I put two scoops in. Live and learn. Just sat down with my coffee. Uh, I just wanted to let you know it's 20 after nine. Just putting together the cooking review. I'm gonna try and put together put it together as quickly as possible. Uh, and then I have to drive up to Barry and uh, do my big box thing. I got over a thousand likes like I asked for, uh, for the Pizza Hut uh, triple decker box thing. People think I'm gonna eat the whole thing. No, 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 it's a review. All done the cooking review. I'm extremely happy that I got all my jobs done and it's uploading right now. It's only 12 o'clock. I'm gonna get my bike ride done now, build up a hunger, um, and then go up to Barry. I sh shaved this this morning. Just just kind of just shaved that and then shaved the length of this just a little bit shorter so it's a little more controllable at the moment. Um, and then we are going to Uxbridge and go to uh, Kim's um, viewing. Bring my laptop, bring my uh, HDMI cable on my videos that I created and they're going to play that there and then tomorrow at two o'clock is the actual ceremony and uh yeah so i had to make sure i had all my stuff done for that that's the other stuff i did just now i uh yeah i got my my videos done plus then i finished up the kim um montage plus extra videos that i was doing for for her daughters all ready to go dressed up got my psychologic thank you very much psychologic for sending me this shirt a couple years ago that was awesome one of the things i have to do just before i go for a ride is uh whoops there it oh it's found my heart rate monitor i have to go into settings go down one system gps we've got to shut off gps so it's not trying to track where i am all the time while i'm st stationary and gets all confused so uh back back and i'm on rollers ready to go press that once it's all set up for time, distance, average speed, speed, whoops, uh, heart rate. Right now I'm 72 and calories is zero so far. So I've got my stereo all set up, got my fan all set up, and I turn that on and then we will burn some calories, hopefully another 400. Let's do it. All done the ride rode for 30 minutes and 21 seconds uh, covered 11 kilometers and 11.64 kilometers and uh, my achievement today was the fact that I let me catch my breath uh, is I uh, my average speed was 23 kilometers an hour just as I get notifications to show you there you go people 23 kilometers an hour for half an hour so every day is an improvement. Uh, I noticed I was doing probably about 27, 28 kilometers in the last two minutes. And so I just bumped it up a gear and gave her, and I uh, managed to pull off the 23 kilometers per hour average. And that's moving speed, is that moving? No, that's for the ride itself. But I stopped two times to stretch my calves out for 10, 20 seconds, uh, each stop and then I fell off the bike not crash fall but my front wheel went off the rail or off the uh, roller onto the rail and so I had to stop get back on start rolling and then it fell off the back and then I got back on so so my average speed for that so my actual moving average speed will be higher than that but 400 calories that's what we want to burn every day nice Whew. now now it's a uh, quarter to one Time to uh, do my stretches, uh, get showered up, 
shaved up and then go indulge in some Pizza Hut. We are on our way to Pizza Hut in uh, Barrie. I'm gonna hit the post office first to see if any envelopes have arrived. A few people said they're sending me stuff. So I just wanna kinda of check it every other day and today's a good day to check it. And uh, then we'll be off to Barrie. It's like crazy windy out, freezing cold. Luckily I brought my hat, but I'm not wearing it. Nothing. at the Pizza Hut, at the Pizza Hut. So I'm gonna go inside, order it. Gonna make sure I get it ordered and then I'll go back to the car and set everything up. So that picture, so the triple treat box, uh, I asked for a thousand likes on my Instagram and we got over uh, 1,092. Even the works burger wants me to do it, <laughs> which is freaking awesome. All right guys, let's order this thing. It comes with a small breadstick. It's a dollar extra with cheese. Uh, no thanks. Okay, so, and uh, your eight wings, they can be breaded, boneless, or traditional. Let's go boneless. All right, and we have mild, medium, hot, honey garlic, honey barbecue. Garlic, honey barbecue, sounds barbecue. great. Uh, okay, and it comes with a cookie. That's good? Yes. And that's like a little cookie pie? It's a Hershey's honey. cookie. Oh, okay. So, and we put it through the oven. Perfect. So the two dips, we have ranch, garlic, and marinara. Uh, ranch and marinara, please. All right, so if that is everything with the taxes, comes up to 37.28. Well, there it is, people. Two medium pizzas, a cookie, wings, breadsticks, and two sauces. All right, I ordered my pizza. I did the Instagram thing, sent that out. My only biggest, my biggest problem with Today is the windshield's cold and stuff might start falling off the windshield while I'm doing this. And that will just suck. So I gotta put on that, that. Hopefully it falls off before we start. Maybe I should have set this stuff up first. So there's my mount. That is on, ready, ready, ready. Got two cameras. I'm not gonna be able to probably fly, fly the drone today because it's really windy. Really, really windy. I really wanted to fly it too. I like that. I like that little shot that I do. Okay, so I'm not going to turn this on yet. And the other problem is it's really bright out. The sun is shining. It's going to maybe screw up this video footage. I've got lots of sun hitting that uh, snow bank in front of me so that's actually gonna light me up but I'm afraid and, and as soon as I get that pizza gets in here all these windows are gonna go foggy and then again it might screw up the video footage a little bit so I'm gonna do the opening part of this video and then uh, we'll go inside and wait for the pizza it should be almost ready all done the review I'm just gonna put everything away uh, there's only so much of it I could eat obviously two medium pizzas and eh, I don't think so that ain't happening anytime soon. So I was putting away my McDonald's napkins because I forgot to grab napkins when I was in there. The other thing I forgot to do because I was just so panicky about the fact that it was like 36 minutes long, this, this raw raw footage, raw and uncut footage, 36 minutes long. And I totally gapped on rating it. So I'm gonna have to finagle away uh, in the editing process. Am I getting too close to you guys? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, did that happens. And it was just uh, too late. I already did a whole bunch of stuff. I can't just all of a sudden turn everything back on. It's, I've already finished everything. And, and uh, so I'll just have to add it as a title in the video. I'm just not gonna actually vis uh, verbally say anything. I had to push my seat right back too because uh, 
Let's put you guys up here. There we go. So I'm gonna have to turn the car on, hit the defrost button. Cause it is foggy. Oh, I have to go and do the, uh, the quick video shot of the front of the building, the restaurant. So I'll be right back. Got the heater on full blast. Cause just walking all the way to the front of the building and then trying to videotape it. I did like three or four different types of shots. And then a car drove through one of the shots. Sometimes that's good. Sometimes I don't want it in there. So I did two of the exact same shots uh, just to cover my ass. So, and then my phone died like right after that. I didn't think it was that, see it didn't die. Something weird happened. It's at 43%. Why would it shut off for no reason? Has that ever happened to you? That was the first time that's ever, ever happened to me. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Uh, one of the things I wanted to explain to you guys, just in case you didn't know, just in case I never really explained it, I learned really quick early on in my Instagram career uh, when I would put up a picture and tell people oh, their, their avatar is going to be in the video and then of course there has to be a cutoff time somewhere uh, because people were actually emailing me after I launched the video and said my avatar wasn't in there and I said well when did you click the the like button they said like 10 minutes ago or something you know what I mean like so there are I have to have a cutoff date or a cutoff time so I hope you guys understand that uh, so far there's 256 people that want to be in uh, Friday's video. So I'm hoping uh, we get like a thousand. That would be kind of fun. I think the most we ever had was 750. But that's why I have to have the cutoff date for or cutoff time so that people don't continuing to cut to click the like button thinking they're going to be in a video that I've already edited and put together and launched on YouTube. And also, if I got all of a sudden 2,000 likes, it will you know extend the video's length by like six, seven, ten minutes. So uh, and, and it's a lot of extra work on me. So I'm always trying to keep it in the seven, 500 to 700 like range, and I can I can, can kind of control that by giving at a cutoff date so that's my out anyway i thought i'd explain that to you hope that i hope you didn't mind me explaining it to you time to go home and rest Got home, didn't fly the drone. It was uh, crazy blizzardy up there in Barrie. So uh, again, when I come home, I put the bills there and then I have to take apart my bag. Oh, oh so look, I did it again. Left my freaking mic on. Dang rabbit. When are you gonna learn, boy? Okay, so I gotta take out the batteries. Gotta recharge all my batteries for all my devices. Definitely gotta get my cameras out. Uh, ben is already devouring the box. He can give you a review. I can't tell you what I think. So open it. So what, what Ben said, this is Ben's favorite. I no. told him to... It's not your favorite? No, the chicken. Oh, the chicken wings? Interesting. They're, they're my favorite. So the chicken wings are your favorite and they were uh, honey barbecue. They tasted really good. That's a great idea. This whole box situation. Uh, online, I did see that uh, certain places had that like, looked like it was um, printed gift wrapped. So it looked like a present. So, so you know, the, the mom or dad bringing that home to the family, they, it's like they're bringing home a big gift, which is cool. How'd you like the cookie? It's all right. Yeah? I'm not a fan, actually. Not really a big fan. You, you're a, a more of a hard cookie fan, soft cookie fan, or this is just too sweet or what? Any cookie that doesn't taste like amazing isn't very good cookie. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, you, li you like Oreos. Huh. Would you say they're, they're like just the most amazing thing you've ever had in your life? No, I don't like no. Oreos that much. Okay, well, what's your favorite cookie? But Oreos aren't cookies to me. Oh. What are Oreos if they're not cookies? That, because it's so generic, I don't like it as like a, a cookie by itself, you know? Hmm. Well, thanks for the uh, the Ben Domic review, L the leftover review. <laughs> and what about the breadstick? As good, 
Oh. I'm eating all this cold. Yeah, that's so. true. Yeah, if you had it when it was super hot. The breadstick wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Yeah. Little Caesars makes my favorite breadsticks. The seasoning was nice though. Yeah, not bad. I, I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. And Sam's still waiting for his piece. Oh, he's gonna get it. Stop. It's because you're on the on the hard car, on the hard Stop. floor. He doesn't like the hardwood. Stop. Whoa! Stop. Right, Stop. right into the cat. All right. Thanks for that little review, Ben. The kitties are all wondering where this food's coming from. Right? 